Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Pro, Pro Trader webinar series today with J Trader, a stocks trader. Uh, so, for those of you who are new in here, um, I mean, this free event, uh, open to all, uh, it, you know, is our typical of our Pro Trader webinar series. Uh, every day of the week, uh, we have a new uh, or different professional trader presenting and going through how they read the order flow. Uh, uh, their setups, their strategies, um, insights uh, to uh, order entries and exits, et cetera, market uh, uh, or uh, trading psychology, all, all of this kind of stuff. Uh, so uh, that's what the events are for. Uh, however, uh, today we have uh, Jay Trader who um, he uh, holds a, um, a daily webinar, or not a daily webinar, a weekly webinar with us. Uh, where he goes through live trading uh, as part of our uh, bookmap uh, education. And uh, tomorrow we have Scott Pulsini. He also does the same. He's a futures trader. Uh, so it's um, you're going to get insight. It's going to be a little different today. Uh, it's a professional trader, of course, uh, for the Pro Trader webinar. Uh, however, it's a little different. Uh, it's just going to be kind of a normal day. Uh, for Bookmap Global Plus subscribers, this is what we do every week, uh, every Wednesday and every Thursday. So you're going to get insight to what that is like. Here, they will be taking live positions uh, if opportunities arise. So let me go through a little bit about Jay Trader. If you haven't heard of him, um, most of the uh, uh, Bookmap uh, uh, Global Plus subscribers uh, know very well who he is. He's been trading since he was 18 years old, uh, European equities and uh, uh, covered warrants like options, trading huge volume uh, back in the day and still does trade huge volume, uh, but uh, focuses on uh, order flow scalping and mainly trades the US markets uh, and um, uh, options uh, is, is also part of it. Uh, he is the main trader in his small cap trading room. He does offer uh, educational services. Uh, I will be posting this into the chat for you. So if you want to reach out to J Trader, well, I'll just post it in right now. Um, if you want to reach out to J Trader uh, and you like his style of trading, uh, he offers mentoring uh, and education. Uh, I just placed it into the chat uh, in GoToWebinar here, so you don't have to copy down the links or anything. You can just click directly on them. Um, okay, so. Uh, let's go through some risk disclosures. Uh, and J Trader comes in a little late on um, on Wednesday, so he'll be in in about uh, 10 minutes or so. Uh, but uh, that's fine. We have some other things to go through. We usually go through our um, daily advanced webinar uh, analysis, forward-looking analysis on uh, uh, what's happening in uh, in the markets. So we'll do that. I'll go through this risk disclosure, and then when Joseph pops in here, uh, we'll get. Uh, uh, right going uh, directly with him. Um, risk or general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Live trading is in simulation demo paper trading mode and strictly for educational purposes. Live trading executed in simulation cannot accurately represent realistic trade performance. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. An investor could potentially lose all or more than the initial investment. Risk capital is money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security nor lifestyle. Only risk capital should be used for trading and only those with sufficient risk capital should consider trading. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so that said, let's jump right in here. We're going to look at the NASDAQ E-mini. Uh, was just looking at this earlier here. Very, very simple setup here, guys. Um, this is typically what we look at. Now, I I, I didn't take this. I should have. I, I was just kind of uh, scrambling here to get ready for the webinar. Um, I would have gotten out here. Uh, I'll tell you that. Uh, I would not have been holding for this bigger move, even though, um, you know, I, I like it. I mean, I, I still see buying up in here. Typically, um, you know, I, I like to uh, exit where these drops took place or at least take a partial profit. Um, I'm sure in this one I would have taken a full profit. Uh, and I would have missed this here. Uh, but uh, uh, what a move though, nice, nice move. It's going for the open here as well. So look for this to continue uh, just to spike above the, uh, um, well, nine o'clock swing here basically. Uh, and uh, let's see where else this might be going here on the longer or term or higher term um, 
uh, uh, outlook here. Yeah, down at 15,000, you can see we didn't even get close to it, right? And they're bidding up in front of it here. This is a great chart. I mean, look at them bid up here, 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 in front of 15,000. Uh, so uh, looking for more buyers here still, uh, and looking for them to break this swing and then on up into, um, yeah, you know, probably this uh, 120, uh, let's see where else, you see 125, or I'm sorry, 130, and then also 150 starting to show some liquidity here. So yeah, looking for buyers just to continue sweeping this higher uh, and a pow powerful move uh, starting to unfold here. Now we have a big day ahead of us here. Uh, so we have the um, uh, FOMC later today. So, you know, things are gonna uh, be, be um, uh, you know, pretty, pretty wild, uh, pretty back and forth, I think today. So be careful out there. Order flow wise though, this is what the chart is telling us. Okay, very, very simply. All right, powerful move here. Um, all right, so we also have stops and icebergs in here. You can see uh, after 9.30 open here, up to 500 here and they continue to buy through this whole sideways consolidation here uh, up to about 800. Well, let's see, what does it say here? Yeah, 758. 772, something like that, um, all the way through here, right? So iceberg buying all in through here, okay? Especially at the open, let's just highlight it okay, and mark it up here. You can see right here. Now we have the on chart indicator as well, which I like a lot, uh, but uh, I just wanna kind of mark up that area. So we know this is where in this consolidation period here, Front running this uh, 15,000, uh, we have a lot of uh, larger players absorbing, okay, using icebergs, hidden orders from the market. Look at the stop run here as well. Um, always kind of makes me a little sad to see this. It's just everyone getting stopped out while everyone, all the all the smaller retail traders getting stopped out here uh, and they're getting stopped out on the way up here as well that went short. Um, just uh, kind of kind of sad to see still getting stopped out on the way up here and icebergs just they just plowed right into it okay just plowed right into the larger players using iceberg orders in fact let me I want to take a look here at the um, uh, iceberg um, just all of the uh, different trades here so we'll, we'll just uh, bring this down to one or even zero here right uh, and look at all of the iceberg buying and selling in here because okay, there's uh, going to be quite a bit down here. Boy, we're going to have to filter for some of that, though. That's just too much. Okay, let's just get rid of like 25. Let's see what that looks like. That looks better. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, just just tons of icebergs on, on these pull on the pullbacks too. Uh, pretty pretty nice stuff. Pretty beautiful stuff in there. Uh, and uh, stop runs to the upside right here, stop run, everyone getting short here, um, and 130 stops, uh, kind of, like I said, kind of sad to see. Also getting stopped out on the way down here in this area here, anyone that was buying uh, in here, one more little push, and then uh, does not, this is where it's kind of a, really kind of a, a, a mind uh, a fake out here, uh, looking for 15,000 to trade. Uh, but uh, you know, they're, they're, it never came down to it. This is why they're front running and they're absorbing. This is precisely why it didn't make it down here. Okay? So getting insight to this and understanding this dynamic here, uh, this is a classic trick. Uh, larger players, will, they'll show high liquidity at the figure here uh, or anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then they will front run that high liquidity with hidden orders and get filled before it even comes down into here. Plus we also noted, well, you can see in here, they're, they're, uh, they're layering in in these areas here, here, all throughout here, and then in here too, lots of absorption in here. Okay, so this is also pretty, pretty nice to see uh, in the heat map here. Um, eh, some of it pulled in here. Uh, but definitely getting filled in here, in here, and, and below here. All right, so uh, pretty pretty nice stuff in there. And let's see if they continue to get back in here. Not really. That was about it. Uh, and then uh, they're just bidding up at higher or previous uh, areas here. Uh, and uh, and we see this nice move to the upside. All right, so let's go back and review this. Where where are we right now? We were looking for this to continue. 
uh, and it has a little bit of consolidation here, uh, but uh, yeah, still looking for, um, yeah, we see some selling starting to come in here, but it was just a pullback, uh, and um, we might get another little pullback in here to 100. Now we're, we're above 100, uh, so uh, uh, note note that as well, 15,100. So anyway, let's just mark up another consolidation uh, area here, uh, and uh, it could be as big as this, okay? Or it broke out from this little area here. It could be also in this area here, and there's one more. It could also just be in this little area here, right? So we're bullish though. So we're looking for sellers to just kind of spike it below here. And then we're looking for buyers, the order book to really light up on the bid for them to start to pull liquidity on the offer. Okay, things like this. And this is what we're looking for in this bullish area here, right? If we're going to look for a continuation. Uh, good morning, Oliver. And there's Joseph. All right. So uh, excellent. Let me do, just turn it right over to Joseph. Um, anyway, guys, take a you know, keep a lookout uh, on this and look for uh, that uh, uh, those conditions for those buyers to start to uh, come back in here. All right, so let's find Joseph in here and make him presenter. Glad to be here. How are you, buddy? I'm well. How are you doing, Joseph? Everything's fine, thank you. Uh, I'm stalking a few trades this morning. I tagged you before in the room because uh, we have been trading Uber. And uh, before looking right now at the live price action, I just wanted to um, explain uh, again the reason why we longed Uber this morning. Anybody of the traders in here traded Uber, Bruce? Uh, I did not. Okay. So, Bruce, uh, we have, uh, okay. You can see book map in the chart, good, buddy? Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks great. Okay. It's a, it's, it might be a little a little too high resolu uh, resolution. Um, okay. it's, it's hard to read uh, any, any text in there, but the chart looks beautiful, though. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to fix it. Let me know if this may be better. Uh, sorry. One second. Okay, so I think this is a better uh, display resolution for, yeah. for traders over here. Okay, so let's fix one second. Boy, that's so a, a pretty high. That's pretty high too. But I, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Uh, yeah, just... this this is the the one I use generally, so sh okay. should be should be fine. Okay. All right, traders. So this morning we have uh, a second day continuation on uh, Uber. Uh, the reason why I looked long is because we have uh, uh, pre market support, which is uh, the you can see over here resistance of yesterday. You see this forty five. Yesterday resistance right now turns to be also the pre-market support. And this is practically my A plus setup. I just love when we have this. Um, the trader and Uber over here will uh, uh, repost so we can uh, see why and what was the main reason we looked too long this, all right? I'm gonna uh, post it over here one second. Okay, so we have the first thing I look for this bottom. Okay, generally I like to enter just when we close above the J lines, which is this green line, and the second bar starting, so 45.20. The reason why I anticipated the long, and Bruce can uh, also be here confirm, is that we had. Um, morning fill from 45. So we went just below that um, support, which was previous day resistance 45. And then over here soaked and held a pretty good support at 44.75. So when I saw that, I started seeing this pop. I longed immediately and I was just risking 44.70. So I was risking seven cents. 
10 cents maximum. Over here, we had a fill around 82. And then we started to reclaim the 45, reclaim the view up as well, reason for me to hold the position. So this turned to be, now I didn't calculate R's yet, but could be like a 40 R return, 45 R return in this trade. And this was a money maker. So uh, first resistance over here, reason to cut at the 45.30. And you can see that this was the level that I saw and I wanted to, you know, uh, take something else in case we had a rejection and then higher 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 and then the last part over here when we fail um, look at this 46 dollar level traders so often you are scared to short into the 45 and that's correct you cannot short something that is going up only because we have a big resistance in this case, you see how they buy this resistance and we don't have a rejection, so it doesn't start to unwind. It's strong and it still pushes. Then we have uh, some consolidation on the 46. You can see clearly how they consolidate. They fake the breakdown over here at 46, which is this level over here, right? And then they reclaim it and now they push it big again, up to 46.60, 46.62. And then from there, we have a reversal. But this is the correct way to trade Uber. So uh, for who was this morning watching it, that is simply an A plus setup. Uh, while I'm drinking some tea, uh, we have a few other movers this morning. So we had Tesla, we had Snap, I'm watching Twitter. We have Embrain, AMD, uh, ONTX, which are small cap plays. Um, I'm watching uh, right now, not anymore for a short on AMD. Or AMD will go parabolic. So this means we want this price to go 630, 640, 650. Or simply, I will look too long it for scalps using the 90 May. So I already did my day. Uh, pretty nice one. So I'm only looking to trade over here right now with you showing how to trade book map. Uh, remember, this is uh, with Bookmap simulated uh, the execution I take over here, as Bruce told you. And we're only looking for setups on EMD. If I will see my A plus setup, so not scalping, I will take it on a live account as well and show you the trade if I will trade that A plus setup. So A plus setup again would be the longer the J lines or parabolic move. <clears throat> uh, Joseph, um... I, I love that setup uh, that you just covered, um, uh, you know, with uh, Uber. Okay. Um, and uh, maybe maybe you can articulate a little bit more because it's a spike into high liquidity. You've got your J lines, pre-market data. It's it's like a kind of a probe and test down into that area. It stops a lot of people out. It gets a lot of people also going the wrong way, and then yes. it, they just come piling in. Uh, on the yes. buy side here. Uh, I so think your analysis is correct over here, perfect on point. They shake out the, the buyers over here. They really shake them out. And uh, they, uh, I would say, when, when we filled the 45, they let uh, the, the price section on purpose dip. And then over here, they probably are holding. You see that the big soak and the big heat map as well, they're holding. And then on this reclaim, uh, longs understand that they are trapped and then longs will re-enter higher. So longs stop out, shorts joined, short stops, longs re-long, uh, the short stop will squeeze more the, the stock and this will have this push plus the manipulation from the big ends. All right, um, excellent, thank you. Uh, let's, let's look over here, a few more things on Bookmap because this is something that I really wanted to see in the last two, three weeks, but the market, unfortunately, and uh, Bruce knows it, uh, didn't really, uh, was not really that exciting on the big cap land, uh, mainly because we didn't have uh, big uh, trends. If you look at Tesla traders, if you look at, um apple if you look at nvidia we don't have any kind of big trend uh we are mainly uh being in lateral phase but uber 
or Twitter. Uh, they're giving, they have been giving the last two days some very good trends. And over here, for me, Uber this morning was simply fantastic. I would like to see this every single day. Very low stress. Uh, didn't give uh, fakes to the upside. Simply straight. And what I like also is uh, to have all these higher lows. These were all consecutive except this higher lows. Or at least, if we take out this, we're at least 15 bars. Um, if I wouldn't have book map, okay, so over here, Bruce, uh, let's also say this. This is not because I want that you, you take book map. I mean, you already have it. But if I didn't have book map by setup, I would have entered 40 cents later into the 45, 25, 45, 30. And then I have to risk a little bit more because as we know, this blue line, so which is the pre-market high, can be a rejection level. Therefore, I have to risk, for example, 45. So while I risk over here 7 cents on my long into a 82, over here I was risking 30. So there's a big difference. And then when I go calculate my risk reward, so we have a, a very huge difference over here. This is the, the main edge of taking the trade with, uh, uh, with Bookmap. Just want to see some other traders, Bruce, that you see they took the same setup. So pretty good on Uber. I'm very proud of the, the results on this. Um, I'm not the type of trader that likes to push trading more during the day. If I am already standing with, uh, I would say, good uh, green day, I will need to uh, wait for an A plus setup and only uh, trading smaller size. For example, Twitter is another one we have on watch. And I have this on watch since we break the pre market high. So, in an uptrend, this can be a good bull flag to trade long today. So Twitter will be on watch. I like to take off this for now. I like to take off this as well. We don't need the cumulative or the flow. Okay, so Twitter, let's wait that we have dips. We need to see some big support heat map. We are above previous day range. This can be a long. MD waiting. My dear, watch if we have other extension yeah. keys. Okay. I want to focus uh, one moment on a runner. So I'm going to put I'm going to put Wimi. Wimi here. Okay, so if you look traders at Uber yesterday, okay, yesterday, and we meet today, they're giving the same exact setup. Uh, which setup I'm talking about? Dips into the one minute J lines. So I'm not looking to trade short we me. I'm staying with the main trend because this didn't go parabolic. This didn't go on a big extension. We need this to go and push to five directly. We're now more looking for J lines dip. Okay. You can see, Bruce, something absolutely amazing, buddy. Uh, if you look, this support, right? One, two, three heat maps. Look over here, traders. And then you look where we have the J lines. I mean, this is really very simple, relative simple to trade. This is beautiful. Perfect confirmation. You can see the dip into that level. And this these last five minutes, I will zoom in. Then Bruce, tell me if, if I'm right, what I'm saying. The last five minutes over here, we have sellers. You see over here, it's all pink, okay? All magenta. Sellers, small balance sellers. When we soak into the first level of support, then we have a second one, then we have a third one, okay? so. We start forming more support at 420. 
we have the J lines that basically tell us, okay, this is a good support. And when we start reclaiming the VWAP, so exactly on this cup pattern, you know, that I like to see the reclaim of the VWAP too long, then we start seeing a shift between all pink, so all sellers, magenta over here, to buyers. And look, the amount of blue uh, prints, so bl these blue dots over here are buyers, you see 8K, 8K again, 30K. So we have pretty decent amount of buyers, right? It dips, you see we have no sellers and then they continue to push. And we have always, if you look at these, look the huge amount of buyers versus the sellers. We have what, three or four small sellers and then look the amount of buyers. They're buying the ask over here and they're, and they're pushing. So this is how to basically uh, look for dips too long. Okay, is it clear, traders? If you have question, you can ask Bruce. Let me know if it's clear. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. This is a, a just a, I mean, a quintessential example. I mean, it is it, perfect. Like, uh, it is showing exactly what um, very very clear. You have your higher time frame strategy. Now you're looking at the book map. You're looking at the um, where the liquidity is, the buyers and sellers, uh, and then you're also gauging the um, not only the limit buy and sell orders in the auction but also the aggressors the the buyers that um, uh, are with market buy orders you've got a really really nice uh, confluence here of those events exactly and it's what traders should do trade in the direction of the main trend unless surely something goes really extension parabolic and exhaust or stuffs big and then trade over here because if we look at this picture over here we can see only buyers. I mean, I don't see, uh, besides some decent seller over here, which was right away absorbed, I don't see any kind of big sellers. Only buyers. We have like 80% of buyers on this uptrend. And even if this, for big cap traders, for example, seems a really small move, you have to consider that this is a, a 30 cent move on a $4 stock. Okay, so we're talking about what, a 7%? So this is a pretty good move. Make 7% on Tesla. So surely you have to size more, but this is a perfect move, okay? This is really a paycheck and you don't need much more than this. So entering the 430 over here and then selling in part in the 450 and this goes more to the 460. So now we, me, we will be watching for ideally another dip into the J lines. Remember, generally the first two are the ones that have best win rate, the third and the fourth, I will look for sizing down. Uh, Twitter didn't dip as I wanted to the 90 May. Uber below the J lines holding that support, waiting. Uh, EMD. So EMD is uptrending all day from this uh, curl in the morning. So we had this literally this uh, cup pattern over here. You can see a dip into the 460 and then breakout, then dip into this support 510. And you can see we had a confluence of uh, more, I would say, uh, parameters, which is one, the support traders uh, of the previous high. So that's the support. Then we have the VWAP, 510, you can see. We have a heat map over here, so soaking big, that 510. So don't really enter on that 510. Wait that you have that curl. Wait that you start seeing some blueprints, okay? And then you can see that over here we start, we don't have any more sellers and we start having that breakout, 516, 517. And then over here, we have this uptrend. So we have a pretty good, uh, rejection on EMD all morning uh, with the heat maps because we get 545 which is five cents from the pre-market high and we reject then we get over here I saw a second one before let me see if I can find it yes we have a second one you can see that we basically do it as, as uh, before on the support we have bars 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 you see soaking soaking they cannot even push above one cent and then they exhaust sellers come in and we have yes a small rejection over here it's like six seven eight cents and then they reclaim 
and they pushed. But what I wanted to focus on and show you is that each time we have a push into a resistance, and let's say you are only a short seller, you're stubborn, you're just like waiting for that level to short, you could do this all day on the first rejection and always be profitable or exit in the money. Because over here, for example, you have 550, which is the pre-market high. You can short immediately 548, 547, risk in that 550, 551. And then when it goes back in the money, um, sorry, from 1R, 2R, back 1R, always in the money, you trail it. And it's been doing this all morning. So it did this into the other heat map at 560. So very important to spot these. I don't suggest to short each time this goes up. That's not a strategy. But it was just to show you the levels that we have with Bookmap. Okay. Uh, just a quick note on that, Joseph. I, I think you're you're totally spot on. You can scalp those areas, but it's not recommended. Uh, you're just scalping the order flow back and forth. Uh, you, you you don't really have a strategy there. Uh, go with your higher time frame strategy. Exactly. I mean, if we are aggressive scalpers, then Bruce, you know, can be still good, right? There are scalpers taking five, six, seven cents in and out. Personally, I prefer, if I can, a bigger move, um, having uh, always a low risk and trading those bigger moves. Uh, we, me, that we are watching before, finally we had the breakout. Remember what we are watching, right? We are watching for these dips into the JLens. Now we have the curl over here. You can see this uh, nice breakout. And now pushing strong 590. We, me, waiting for parabolic. Waiting for parabolic over here. I'm going to put up uh, one second the uh, stats on Wimi. I'm using over here at to trade uh, that we have in the room. So we have a uh, 329 market cap, uh, 49 million uh, float, low institutional ownership, increased revenues. So we have earnings basically today. Um, let's see also, this is a China company. Let's see the gap stats, but not really important because that's, uh, okay, so yeah, 50-50, I saw this before. I wanna look at the higher time frame. So always look at the higher time frame. So we have a stock trader that is in downtrend. We have a stock that trade a lot amount of volume. Uh, we have some big resistance into the 15 area. So we have bag holders at this level. At this level, we have more bag holders over here. So I really like today a power move on Wimi. All right. And again, you can see now how it's getting extended from the one minute J lines. Watch it together, traders. We can be one of those stocks that will give us a parabolic move and that ideally we can trade, okay? Uh, do you have any questions, traders, on Wimi? Um, I do. Uh, so the... Uh, on, on, I mean, today it's it, to me it already it kind of looks like it went parabolic just in the last um, you know few bars there on on the right or in book map there as well. Um, however, what you're looking at though is that daily chart and yeah. where other people are trapped and where it might go potentially. Yes, because if we look at over here, Bruce, on on the daily or even on the hourly, right? We are right now at a five dollar uh, level, just breaking this. Uh, uh, J line. So imagine that over here we have a 49 million flow. So it's not really that small, uh, considering a small cap, all right? And imagine that me and you, Bruce, bought it 15 bucks. This is really what the market is. We bought it 15 bucks. So you think that it, even if you're holding this stock from what uh, one year, okay, one year and a couple of months, 
you think that you will um, get out if the price is at five? Me personally, not. I would love to see this at least at nine, 10, 11. I cannot you know, lose 70% uh, of my position, right? So I don't really think we're gonna have uh, a short until some very big parabolic move. So right now, parabolic move, I will need this goes 560, 570, or even six, looking for that para exhaustion, looking for bookmap stuffing, so not being early, early, sorry, entering with the very first feeler, uh, small feeler. When I say feeler, let's say I'm gonna trade 5,000 shares, for example. My feeler can be two, three, four, 500 shares, maximum one-tenth of my position, only to uh, wet my feet. And then when I have that confirmation, I will enter the majority of my position. Even over here, we have that $5 resistance, but the volume is still very strong. 1 million volume bars over here, 800, 600K. I'm not looking to fight this, uh, this uh, uh, price section over here. Is it true that if I enter 598, I have basically risk-free because I'm risking two cents and I'm ready in for eight, uh, eight cents so far return, okay? But that's not my style. I'm waiting for a little bit better, better move. Yeah, just a really nice mixture of um, understanding the heat map in terms of much, much higher time frame there. Yes. Uh, this morning we had another... I would say a good example on how to use bookmap. Uh, sorry guys, one second, I'm trying to fix it over here. I'm gonna put this a little bit like uh, maybe 1,900, okay. So I wanna zoom in. All right, so when we open MRIN, we had a push into this uh, previous resistance. Uh, ideally, wanted to see 11.20. Uh, bookmap over here was right away uh, soaking at 10.80. Then we had resistance 10.89. We cannot even break that and making lower high. And above, we had that big resistance 11 and more over here at 11.15, 11 11.16. 11 so, uh, didn't take Emrin, so I'm not uh, I'm not short on Emrin this morning, traders. I was looking to short this only on that extension at uh, 11.50, uh, 15, 11.20 stuff. But what I also saw, and I missed it because I was basically all absorbed in Uber, was the 9.33. So while we're waiting for the parabolic on Wimi, I'm going to show you uh, 9.33 level. Okay. So everybody can see over here the support, right? So we have the $10 number, which is this zone over here, right? Uh, we have a, a whole dollar number, whole round dollar number. We have a support. This is the golden zone, this uh, yellow zone. And then we have this huge amount of support from Bookmap, okay? Around uh, 50, 60,000 over here, 50, around 55. We popped several times to the 1040. So look now what happens. When we pop, we know that I'm looking always to short J lines or VWAP. In this case, we have three things together. We have one, the golden zone, which the 88 for me is the, the main level to short. We have the J lines, we have the VWAP. And you can see over here in book map that we go directly into that 1050. We have more resistance over here, 1050, 1055, 1060, so five cents in five cents. They cannot break the VWAP. They start rejecting. And once we see over here the sellers, you see we have no more blueprints. So only sellers on the tape. They try to soak, to bounce, but the sellers are still in control and then they simply wash it. Once we wash it, we will start making from that moment. I'm going to zoom out a little bit always lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. Okay, so this is 
Embrain this morning. All right, we is still there. Uh, Joseph, we have a question from Mark. Um, what is your entry type? Um, instant order price near heat map, uh, lower time, higher time, or depending uh, order type or pending order type. So basically, uh, yeah, how, how are you entering? Uh, only, uh, enter limit uh, on ask if I short and um, limit on the ask, on the ask, okay, so not on the bid, if I long. If I'm buying instead on a support, that support is confirmed with, with heat map, and I know that we're gonna bounce, so I have a very low risk, I tend to buy on the support partial, so on the bid, let's say one third, one fourth, when I see right away the confirmation, I then load, but on the ask. 90% uh, of my trades, if I short are adding liquidity, so on the ask. Uh, if I have uh, an environment where, for example, we uh, have a possibility of a fake out, so a fake breakout, let's say right now on five on a WIMI, and I want to trade a short, those fake outs generally are going to be stuff patterns, and therefore I will enter on the bid, otherwise I will miss my execution. Okay, so you will enter short on the bid if you can uh, on a stuff. Yes, but that's the only case where I short on the bid. Otherwise, I always add the liquidity. Uh, you have rebates, uh, so this will lower your commissions. And I think that the best traders in the world, when they short, they short on the ask. I mean, at least me and uh, another great trader, uh, Fate, he always, always trades on the ask as well. Yeah, yeah. So uh, uh, there you go, Mark. And uh, uh, yeah, it's possible. So j just so you know, I mean, you can you can enter your limit uh, orders, your limit buy orders on the best ask uh, for for getting filled there. I don't know if you, it'll be con considered um, a maker, um, but um, nonetheless, you will get your fill at the ask price there. So you can see. Again, traders, we went to that five. Remember, each whole round dollar number will be always a pretty good level where we will find liquidity. Big hands are watching that. And you can see over here, we soaked 58, and this doesn't move. Okay, we had first 80K, uh, 84K resistance. And then over here, we uh, soaked, sorry, 33K. Okay, and then we went down to 55K. Now they're re adding liquidity so we went from 55 back over here to 67 so it means that they're still looking to reject this weenie okay we may have even two or three big players over here so somebody wants to get filled right because he wants over here to sell his position maybe it's long today or days ago or previous uh, previous days all right previous weeks and also we have buyers they are wanting to they they want to buy this and and hold uh we have to focus one second bruce on ontx so we just talk about the other stuff uh i just said look for that uh pre-market resistance and you can see over here trader this is a stuff this is a perfect stop for NTX. Okay, so NTX is our setup pre market fake out. So, how you see the stuff, if you're looking over here on, uh, on my book map traders, we have the 650, 655 being on ONTX, sorry, the uh, relative high, right? And you see that we push. We have just a soak into the 650, 652, and then immediately wash. So over here in about uh, 15 seconds, it flush 25 cents. So no blue dots, you can see, very small. And you have big selling uh, pressure, especially in this 30 and 20. 
So now this is a stock that ideally will go back to the one minute Zalance. All right. Back to the Zalance. Uh, I would say that on this level of fake out, some of these dots are also panic sellers. Because if you long is 660, 650, and immediately you see this washing below 650, 640, you're going to get stopped out. You want to get stopped out right away. So very, very good setup traders over here today on ONTX. And didn't come right away, right? We we had to wait for this a whole morning. Simply the whole morning. Yeah, very clear and nice setups uh, today. Yeah, uh, the market is better. I would say that the last two, three weeks, Bruce, we had a, a slow market, but the last two days, uh, from this week, I see really the difference. Big, big hands came back to this market. All right, same thing got traders on Wimi. So this is a stuff on Wimi, but you see how different it is. For now, we are holding that level. It's not rejecting fast as we had on ONTX. So if we enter short 497 right away, 497, 498, that has to be your 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 stop. This is not a stop as I want. Soak now at 510. Look over here, Trader. So Wimi is not done. Wimi is holding pretty big volume. Look, Bruce, over here, the, the push we are having on Wimi. Not with the W. Oh, okay. <clears throat> 515 on Wimi. So each time we bounce, then we form some support over here. 12,000, 15,000, another 14,000 over here. So, and this is the breakout level on Wimi over here, traders. Look at that volume, 1 million point 25. Okay, so careful trading something like this. Five eighteen, five twenty one. Again, I expect now a higher support. They're trying to form it over here at the five thirteen. This has possibility to go parabolic, Bruce. So let's look at Wimi. Yeah. Cool. yeah, Joseph. I mean, I I really like uh, what what you're doing there with the parabolic moves you're looking for your higher time frame the stock to be breaking out in, in into a, a new range on the daily um, and then you're looking for where it might go in the parabolic moves uh, and then yes. looking at, at book map uh, to, to get the, the guy exactly before the answer sorry if I interrupt you before the entry I always want to see uh, a soak so a moment that we soak so I, I see that I see exhaustion on uh, the parabolic move that is like my okay now it's time to go and over here still we don't have that soak that soak would be big for now it's still uptrending I cannot decide to enter 
short over here because we're still forming higher lows. You can see we're still uptrending. Uh, we're having still increase of volume. So volume over here is set at 600, 1 million, then over here 1.3 million. So I cannot short something like this. Absolutely, this would simply kill me. CRVS, a lot of traders are so early on this, war so early in this, all right? Yesterday we had a pretty good long setup in this area. This passed from five bucks up to 960, nine, yeah, 960 over here, 955. And this morning we had, uh, I would say a pullback, all right? But we still have a decent support, 760. This is still not a backside over here, 750 we can put it. No backside traders on CRBS. We need the fill of 750 and short the pops. We need this to fill below the 200 and the five. So still very early. I'm just saying this because I know that a lot of traders will anticipate the short. This has been going up for about four or five days over here, maybe a little bit more. So we started from the 17th, okay? So this is not a back size, still uptrending. So ONTX right now expect some bounce. Why I say that? Because we have uh, J lines 590, and you can see 590 before J line. Sorry, the J lines over here were a rejection, then a bounce, then a rejection, then a rejection, then a bounce. So the level of J lines is simply perfect. And what I said just now, look the bounce. Also support over here, pretty big on heat map. <laughs> this is uh, an algo that is moving over here, so it's so funny. So you can see over here, traders, he's moving over here, the buyer at 11,500, 11, then over here, uh, 12,006. Okay, so it's beautiful how he's moving up. They don't want to give up on ONTX. They still want the high of day. Or they may use this, and you see now he just like moved higher, or he's doing this to sell his shares at higher prices. Okay, so we don't know if we have more than two big hands today playing on ONTX, or the same one is manipulating. We don't really care to know that. No, I mean what's what's so crystal clear and. Um, with your strategies, uh, Joseph, is like higher time frame analysis and you have all sorts of numbers to back it. And then um, really digging into the details to understand the order flow to give you a really good edge. Uh, yes. Combine those two together and like, I mean, you just really have something. So what Bruce is saying, traders, is true. Uh, Bookmap can give you so much confirmation in your trades. So you can see that we have the buyer, then the buyer moves over here, and then they form more support over here, and then they move to 608. So I believe it's the same player, all right? Maybe he's holding the price because he has shares lower that he wants to dump maybe again at 640, 650. So maybe he dumped before a parcel at 650. And now he wants to uh, sell more, probably into again 640, 650, okay? So this is how the same buyer is moving over here. But I, I cannot really call them buyer. We'll see if he will get filled. Uh, can be more like a seller, okay, so a long trader that wants to sell over here. Yeah, and, and just to note on that, that comment about uh, some of your order flow examples, um, I, I'll, I will post into the, the chat here 
um, the Discord chat room that you have uh, on Bookmap and uh, it, it, just to verify these setups, uh, as well as uh, uh, on our Twitter feed, um, you have many uh, different uh, uh, traders like Nuno, your cousin, as well as your wife and, and many others as yes. well. Excellent work. Uh, I've been retweeting it um, uh, many times over. Uh, so it's, mm -hmm. you know, they're, they're reading the, the order flow correctly. Yes, and I can tell you that uh, traders are having a lot of improvement since they've been starting to use Bookmap. I see that from members who have it and members instead who are without it. Yeah, I, and I think it's just that overall guidance from that higher time frame, um, you know, your strategies, and it just it confirms it. Yeah, yeah, it's working pretty good together. It's like a perfect match. So CRVS, now we are at that support 750. So I'm not really interested to trade this until I have the breakdown 750 and then we'll see pops. So we're still staying sidelines over here. Six ten. Nothing for now. We may still over here pulling back. And right now, traders, you can see that they sold over here the first uh support they had at 10 but then over here this one canceled right so uh what we are saying that somebody is simply looking to hold the price right and now he canceled over here so let's see if in case we break the six they will cancel again but we cannot trade over here mid-range is still not touching j lines it's still not curling as we would like to see for a curl breakout long. Uh, same on Wimi. I'm still not having the perfect backside. Yes, we are below the 90 May, but we are mid range. Uber, after this morning, I didn't touch it anymore. Now we are definitely in a lateral phase. You can see the last one hour. So right now we're looking for a curl above 618. possible push on ONTX coming over here. Um, when I see a stuff, I'm always careful to long because we can always see a possible second stuff, right? So let's see if we have volume. So buying over here, sorry, uh, shelling over here, the error. But it's flat and nothing, so basically scratch. So what I'm looking at for a possible starter into the 618, 620 long. When I see a removal, this 620, so starting 617 would be a feeler. But I don't see that high volume that I would expect. We have 6,620. Still not breaking, we have a pullback.
So we found another support 610, and then you can see how he canceled, right? So they're trying to hold over here, he canceled. So a lot of manipulation over here on the ONTX. CRVS breakdown. That's the 620. So, and sellers just came in over here. So, risking four or five cents, but that's a correct long into the 620. They cannot break 622, now risking 619. Sellers immediately here. So, getting out for one or two cents stop over here immediately. So you can see the breakout is not a happening over here as we want. We don't have that strong buyers. If we look at the order flow over here, we had 620 removal of resistance and then they put two resistance above. So somebody is really manipulating over here. Prefer to wait. Again, or the pre-market high or the J lines. We tried two times, didn't go, nothing, scratch. What I want over here was a curl up for a minute Zealand's 2650. Broke that resistance, fine and support 620. Still very low volume. Okay. Some decent seller over here. They can find liquidity to push this. more buyers now you can see the tape over here it's all blue so may start to push to 635 and there we are 635 so didn't re-enter this one and you can see how now we pass from 12K resistance more over here, 18K. So they're stacking over here the ask. So some sellers. Not really aggressive buyers over here. Don't see they're attacking the 635 resistance. Small buyers. Okay, now more aggressive sellers, uh, more aggressive buyers, sorry. The 630 over here, 28K. 10K up here, 633. They're removing 635. So expect to see a pre market high traders or NTX. So it's beautiful to look exactly this pattern over here. We got from the stuff, right, at this level to the one minute J lines. You see, we are one or two cents away. And then we started to curl and again back to that pre-market high, 660s. 660 over here, this time is not stuffing, so this time is strong over here, ONTX. Start to watch this. Yeah. This time is pretty strong. Take a look at Bruce, 
on 3x, no short, strong here. I'm not looking to short when it's consolidating, and we can see uh, on this support, 650. So what we saw before traders was somebody holding these dips, right? Managing to hold it and push it, and we see that they were uh, creating support, then they remove liquidity, and look over here, only buyers. From 640 directly to 670, we have almost no sellers, only buyers. Look the buyers over here. Surely we had sellers at these levels, but you can see the dots over here, right? The blue line you can see, uh, this uh, alcohol line 654 is the pre market high. The volume is there. We have 1 million volume bars. We have still big buyers over here, far from the 90 May. So maybe we can expect a pullback, but definitely not a short. Bruce, did you see this uh, this volume over here? How many is that? One million. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's one one big dot. Yes. Do you see here, guys? I saw before in the room. I think Keish or somebody else was uh, uh, was telling me, and I didn't pay attention. So. Uh, just near the VWAP, uh, just the price of the J line over here. We have this big, big volume. So not bad fail over here. We're talking about eight million dollars. Not a bad position. And over here, boom, they started to unwind all the way down. Then that's a fail trade. That's a fail. Yeah, and that's a squeeze. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to say. I mean, like, uh, you know, the larger players, are they are they getting squeezed or is it just larger player that's going to be in there for a long, long time? Um, yeah. Yeah, we don't know. Probably this was a, can even be a, a big seller that was long from a couple of days, yeah. like four or five days that uh, CRVS is uh, uptrending. So today is the first day that really is, falling and breaking down a big support at 750. And, you know, it's just like after this big seller, I assume is a seller, we started to downtrend over here. And he yeah. was filled, that's the point. Uh, that's what I can't believe. He was filled. Yeah. So he, he met some really big order over here. That That's, uh, you have the, um uh national best bid and offer so yes. that, that might be a dark pool yeah uh, or, or just some huge iceberg uh, but but likely a dark pool transaction that i mean he, you can't find that kind of liquidity exactly uh, that i mean yeah 818 yeah it's got to be a dark pool i imagine Uh, the price is really a dark pool because the price is eight 
18 and 48. Yeah. Uh, generally, the mids over here are always dark pools. Yeah. Yeah. Or NTX, let's go back to pre market highs. Okay, pull back into the 90 May. So let's look for a long over here. We need a reclaim of the 90 May and trend break. Trend break to the upside. We may go into the one minute J lines. CRVS over here rejecting. 